you need to ask yourself, are you ready for the journey? Are you ready for the hard work? Are you ready to make sacrifices? Running a business can be tough, so it makes sense that managing your business accounts shouldn't get in the way of what you do best. But it's easy with Sage Accounting Tools on your smartphone, your tablet, or your laptop. It's accounting for wherever you are on your business journey. Go to sage.co.uk forward slash journey. Sage, accounting for the journey. Yeah, this is your big partner, Al Kim. You listen to Sweet Lation Radio with Kimmy Kim on Jeremy West Live. Worldwide Jams, Vibes, and Radio on FavorNetwork.net. Follow them on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Elation Magazine, or you can contact them at elationmagazine at gmail.com. Elation Radio is known worldwide for lifting up people everywhere. So stay locked, and we'll be right back after this news. Ha! Shout out D on the track, Paint Music Media, shout out DJ Lee Productions, and I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, get my head my grind on high, we ain't losing drought, I'ma ride till I die, I go hard. To the best, ain't nothing left to give it that reverence that the father gets. So every day I work the sweat, can get a flesh and other rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a Lycan. The difference is I like it, so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with something death. Who you like it? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads. Lacing up my cleats and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking. Whoever's standing in my way. Ain't, ain't no way you gon' stop me. You better run to let me in. Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Vaughn. I'ma ride this way. My head is in the sky. My grind don't high. We ain't losing drought. I'ma ride till I die. To life, a different way to play the lane. Now my rushing yards just got rocketing. Now I'm so insane. For the kingdom building, now my shot it cannot be contained. So I'm going pray for change for myself and then what I can. I don't need no euros or no pesos or no money grams. Shout out to Wado, cause I know that he gon' play this fam. The FCA sports camp, game changer, summer jam. I don't need a hundred grand to tell him that they need the lamb. It's heaven, it's just who I am. Al Cam, this what I say. Trap to turn around, get back in it. Never, never that, that fucking same. It's every day your book they change. Like I'm Jack Johnson, the same year he changed his name. So I sacrificed my life for the cause just to win. And if you a game changer, let me see Got my you hands in. Y'all know what? 
what time it is. That that great, great show from Under a Bridge Radio Talk Show. Y'all know I'm not the one to gossip, but I got a powerful woman of God. I got a powerful woman of God for you today. But like I said, I am not the one to gossip. First, I want to thank everybody for tuning in when you could have been doing something else. I want to thank Kimmy Kim. I want to thank Jerry Ross and all the other radio hosts that have made me feel welcome. I just give God all the glory. I, I'm telling you, I'm excited today because this mighty woman of God that's coming today, she's She's so dear to my heart, I can't even uh, describe it. But like I said, I'm not the one to gossip. But let's go in prayer and give honor where honor is due. Because if it wasn't for God, his grace and his mercy, we wouldn't be here today. So if you would join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you glorifying your name, thanking you for another blessed day. Lord, you're a good God, a true God, a merciful God, a kind God, a loving God, just an understanding. Lord, we thank you. If we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. But, Lord, I ask that we may decrease so that you can increase the Heavenly Father. I ask you to bless the mighty woman of God that's going to come forth and break bread with us today. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Just say thank you. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Like I said, welcome to the show today. My name is Blossom. Um, I thank God for this radio show where we be able to come on Sundays and touch hearts and just let people know that you're not the only one going through. But enough about me. I want to tell you about this mighty woman of God that is coming forth. When I tell you her name, her name is Tammy Tubbs, but she's just beautiful on the inside and the outside. When I first met her, she took me under her wing. And, you know, sometimes us women, you know, sometimes we act like we can't support one another. But a real woman can support any kind of woman, you know, and, and I thank God for her. And like that being said, because I'm taking too much of her time, but I want y'all to help me welcome today my friend, my sister, my little love bug, Miss Tammy Tubbs. Are you there, baby? I am. Oh, my goodness. Ain't God good. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, and I can't live without him. Can't live without him when he's been trying. All I can say is to God be the glory of what he's doing in your life. I'm just like, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't get me started today. You know, I just had me some fried chicken, some macaroni uh-huh. and cheese, and you know the rest. And after you have a great meal like that, you just want to lay it down. But I, I just thank God for the opportunity uh, that you've given me before I go to sleep, that I will have peace uh, with someone today to let them know that God is able. He's able. Yeah, he a- is able. Amen. amen. God you know is what? able. It's been about, what, two years since I sat on your couch the first time and was mm-hmm. able to tell my testimony. And, you know, yes. God is just good. He He just good. And like I said, I tell everybody how God opened the door while I was on your yes. show. And you have always supported me, and I want to thank you so much. Even Amen. when you just send me a little text, I love you. That That's support, Amen. you know, and then. You know, I, I, I admire you so, but I'm not the one to gossip. You know, I ain't the one to gossip, so I'm going <laughs> to let this. <laughs> I'm you gonna know, let sometimes you, you have to understand when, for such a time as this, when it's your season, when it's your time, when it's your turn, God will always send somebody in your life at the appointed time when you're down and out, when you feel like giving mm-hmm. up and you're saying, Lord, what am I supposed to be doing? What direction? I'm tired. It's when you lay it all down and put your Amen. efforts aside. That's when God sends the right person, the right time, Amen. unexpectedly. It's like you're I know, expecting girl. God to move, but will you really do it, God? And all you had to do was just simply say yes. And I remember Amen. after we recorded, uh, we were in a commercial break, and it was so hard, ironic because that's how <laughs> God is. That's how God is. You, you whispered and you said, God, I would really love to have a television show. And that's what he said. He will give you the desires of your you heart. You better but your almost motive, broke out running. <laughs> your motive, your motive has to be as the desire of God, that he wants you, not you to get the glory, but for him Amen. to get the glory. And that's what you've been doing ever since. 
And so after you Amen. gave your testimony, you know, producers came on and said, we would like to give you a show. So that's God. That's called the favor Amen. of God. And and I Amen. love how you say, as women, black women, let me be specific, African-American women, because some of them say, I'm black, whatever it is, okay, you're black. <laughs> mm-hmm. However, you know, we have to learn to support one another. What God has Amen. for you is for you. What God Amen. has for me is for me. But many times we miss it because we don't support each other. We don't encourage each other. We don't empower one another. We don't inspire that sister. You know you have the very connection that she needs. But you are too afraid if I introduce this woman to my friend, to this producer, to this, you know, uh, employer, the, the light is going to be taken off of me. And so I'm just grateful to God that I was broken, that I was humble, and that I just said, Lord, I thank God for what you're doing in my sister Blossom's life. It wasn't about me that day. It was all about God Amen. getting the glory, and you've been running ever since. So kudos to you, and keep moving, God. keep going, and just always Amen. remember, as I've always told you, it's not you, because he can pull us down within the blink of a second. Make sure that Amen. you give God glory for what he's doing. I'm excited. I really am excited thank for you. you. God be the glory. Well, like I said, I, I'm not the one to gossip, but I want to uh, thank you for coming on this platform today. And uh, uh, now, well, now, who is Tammy Tubbs? Can you tell me that? Who is Tammy? Oh my goodness! Wow. You know, this feels funny because I'm always uh, uh, interviewing everybody else. So <laughs> I, I know. Like, yeah, Jesus, <laughs> I've never thought about who Tammy Tubbs is. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> well, let me go back. I'll say. Uh, okay. Ooh, thank you. Holy Ghost. You can't live without him because he's going to order your steps. And I tell God every time that I open my mouth, That's make so. sure that you Lord. feel it. I don't want to say anything without you moving on me. And so who is Tammy Tubbs? Let's just stop right there and put a period. Amen. I am a servant. I am a servant. I've yielded my life to God after moving back from North Carolina by way of Atlanta five years ago and transitioned back home to Mississippi, the very place that I said, oh, when I graduate, and get married, I'm never coming back here. So Tammy Tubbs is this woman that's on fire for God, that loves God with all of her heart, that uh, doesn't care what people say because uh, a people pleaser does not get, you know, uh, the kudos from God. God says, follow me. And so I had to learn, Blossom, that you have to forget about what people are saying because if they're not talking about you, obviously you're not doing something. And I'm not talking about something. I'm talking about a God thing, you know. (laughs) Amen. Hallelujah. We do good things, but they're not God things. So Tammy Tubbs always seeks and praise to God. So I'm an intercessor. I'm a prayer warrior. I'm always seeking God's face of what's next. And I told God recently, I'm not doing anything else until you tell me what's next. And that was about six months ago because I was tired of doing just regular events of of millions of people showing up. But you want their lives to be changed because sometimes people come just to see. And that's not what I'm about. I want people, especially women, to be healed, delivered, and set free. So um, I'm a survivor. Uh, overcomer of two children, you know, that passed away from spinal muscular atrophy within two months of each other. Uh, I'm a survivor of a miscarriage, a survivor of a, a failed marriage of 15 years, marrying my college sweetheart. So um, I am a survivor, and I thank God that I have survived enough to go back and pull some of my sisters and say, look, sweetheart, it's time for you to live again. I know you've been through the fire. I know you feel like giving up, but this is not the time. I need you to get up because somebody's life is depending on you. So when I think about Tammy Tubbs, I just think about this little humble little country girl from Mississippi that if she had her way, she would be out riding horses out with the cows and all of that good stuff. You know, but God has a way of bringing you from the backside and to the front, and and when Amen. people see me, and I say I'm from Mississippi, you know, many times they're like, well, you don't look like it, or you don't talk <laughs> like it. God has grace, hallelujah, it's sufficient. He has a way of cleaning you up where you don't even yeah. look like what you've been you better, through. You better, can you, wait a minute, wait, wait, can you repeat that? Re- please repeat it's that. It's amazing how so many times, you know, we, we try in our own strength, to clean ourselves up, to make sure that we forget our past, but it is our past that has made us who we are. So God has a way of bringing you from the back side, from where nobody knew who you were, into the great presence of men. And all you need is just one yes, 
one God, yes, from the right person that will change your life forever. So many times we're trying to search and figure things out. Honey, just sit back, be still, and know that he's God. Rest in his peace. Let your request be known. Trust him and obey whatever he tells you to do because the blessing is in the obedience. We're trying to do X, Y, and Z. What was the last thing that he told you to do? If it was to forgive someone, forgive them because you're the one that's holding up your blessing. Whatever God tells you to do, hallelujah, do it. Mary told them while they were, you know, turning the water into wine, whatever Jesus tells you to do, what did she say? Do it. So I'm going to encourage someone today. Whatever it is, if you say, oh, I would love to have a radio show like Blossom, whatever God told you to do, do it. Oh, I want to be on television like Blossom. Whatever God told you to do, do it. Because the blessing is in the obedience. We're so busy envying other women, but you don't know the struggle, the heartache, pain. You don't know the tears that they've shed, the things they have to sacrifice. And a lot of times when you're in ministry, we go without. We sacrifice. You don't have gas money. Sometimes we don't have food. Sometimes we feel like we don't have the right clothes. Oh, Lord, what am I going to do to this weed, this hair? I'm just being real. But it's yeah, in those yeah. times that God humbles us to see, can I trust you before the the major blessing, the major breakthrough comes that changes Jesus. your life for real? Ah, so my. to answer your question I, I not, and all of that. Girl, look here. I almost does. broke out running. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a vessel that's always availing herself to God to say, who can I be a blessing to, God? Show me. Amen. Lead me and guide me. Okay. Now, now I, you know, I know your story, but if, do you mind sharing, because uh, uh, you, you're an author also, can you, you share some of your book with our listeners? Absolutely. Um, in... 2004, matter of fact, November 2004, I remember it, November 17th, as a matter of fact, uh, my oldest son passed away from spinal muscular atrophy, January 29th, 2005, hallelujah, my three-year-old son passed away from spinal muscular atrophy, can anybody say, but God, but God, the reality is, some things blossom have to happen, it has Mm -hmm. to transpire. It has to happen in order for us to be who we are today. Amen. You had to Amen. go through the homelessness. You had to go through the breaking and the addictions for you to be who you are to pull some others through. And so in the book, I Still Have Joy, it's just a memoir about my life as a mother. And at this time, I was actually married. But how many of you know you can be married and still single? You can be married and not have the help or the support that you need, and I had to endure that because just because you got a body in the bed with you, somebody's about to be free right now, does not mean, hallelujah, that you are actually in the right God-ordained relationship with you. And so I'm living that because I decided that was the man that I wanted, but it wasn't the man that God desired for me. You better say something, girl. And I still have joy. I'm going to answer your question, but I'm, I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. Because I feel that the women that are listening, they need more. Go ahead, go tired ahead. they're of being in the place where they are. And there comes a time when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You have to make a decision to love yourself enough to get up and be about your father's business step by step, day by day. Amen. It wasn't easy for me. It was not easy for me. Wow. Can you imagine your first son dies? The same day you put your other child in the hospital, two months later, that child that was in the hospital, he passes away. Then you have a daughter who's like a month old. Hallelujah. I was fruitful and multiplying, but I was saved, and I was actually (laughs) married. So I can't say I was out there just screwing around. Let me get that out there. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have it twisted. Get it back. (laughs) Because the enemy will mess with anybody's mind. You have to understand that. She'll say, wait a minute. No, she said all of this. But what she meant. So somebody just tuned in. Yes, ma'am, I was, and I was serving God faithfully. Uh, amen, amen. But get again, it, 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 it'll be twisted. Yes, you know how we gossip. And if somebody's <laughs> Googling me right now, they're on Facebook right now trying to see because my voice doesn't match my face, and then my right. issue doesn't match 
who you are listening to, because I know without a shadow of a doubt I should be crazy, I should be dead. As a matter of fact, I was depressed. I was suicidal, and I tried to take my life, but I thank God that he sent my daughter, Trinity, at the right time, at the right place, with her little pacifier in her mouth, walking to my bedside, and she looked at me, and those hazel brown eyes, that she's right into me. And it, she couldn't even talk at that time, but it was as if her eyes said, I need you. Get up. And Jesus. so I want to encourage a woman that's listening today. Get up. Somebody is waiting on you to get in place. Yes, you had an addiction, but guess what? Jesus is always there. All you have to do is lift your hands up and say, Lord, deliver me. Take this thing away from me because you have to love yourself enough to make a decision. You had to make a decision, Blossom, that you were tired of living the life that you were living. I had to make a decision that I didn't want to be depressed, that I had to live. I had to find a reason to live. I had to make a decision to say, you know what, God desires more for me, and I, this is not love. So I made a decision that, you know what, I don't want to be married anymore. For those that are listening, yes, I deserve the, I serve the divorce papers because you have to love yourself enough to follow and obey the voice of the Lord. When the Lord opens a way of escape and he tells you to go, run, far as run, get up. <laughs> he will provide a way of escape. Amen. But the Amen. enemy will come in to steal, kill, and to destroy your joy, your peace, and happiness. But today, I declare on the enemy that his time is up in the lives of my sisters and even the men that are listening. We're going to walk in peace. We're going to walk in victory. And we will be victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know um, if we have any listeners, if anyone wants to ask her a uh, this mighty woman of God, a question. The the mic is open. Do we have any listeners? Amen. Amen. I guess, they just they just listening. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just best to, to sit and be quiet so you can get everything in. Now hey, let, let the go Lord back. talk to you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now you 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 juggle so many hats. And matter matter of fact, girl, you can wear them hats well. Like my great grandma would say, you old telemade woman. You I seen you uh, a picture or two back. You had a brim on it, girl, you had it popped to the side. I say, look at her. Can't nobody do <laughs> that's Can't that nobody do it like this. <laughs> that's that Mississippi in me. You know, growing Man. up as a little girl. My grandmother uh, uh, it would be in the garden, and when I got off the school bus, she would say, get that get that hat, gal, and come on out here in this field. And I'm like, I don't want to do that, you know. So I had to learn how to tilt the hat to the side so the sun wouldn't hit my big forehead. You know, I had to, I had to know how to lean it. <laughs> Baby, you had it bent. I said, look at that old southern bell right there. Let's yes, ma'am. Nobody but me. <laughs> Won't you do it? Well, like make I, you look good well, when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> You better say something, girl, but you was winning, though. I got to give you your props. But like Amen. I said, you know what, it's, it's just a blessing. It, it, it truly is a blessing. Um, okay, now, I see, one thing I like about you and I learned from you, don't talk all the time. Don't Absolutely. tell your next move. I learned yes. that from you, and I thank God you instilled that in me because I get so excited about the next move. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I want everybody to be happy about what God is doing. But you know what mm-hmm. I found out? You'll get cut up in this situation when you tell people your dreams and, and your Absolutely. desires and everything. So Absolutely. I also thank you for teaching me that. But Amen. do you God have anything coming up that you would Ooh, like wow. to? Oh, my goodness, yes. Um, God has, has just transitioned me. Let me go back because you asked the question, how do I juggle so many hats? Well, for those that are listening, let me share the hats that I am. I am an ordained minister, and I serve under the awesome pastor of Bishop Bobby L. McCarter on the Charity Mission Full Gospel Church um, here in Crawford, Mississippi. He is our state bishop under the Full Gospel for Mississippi. So um, I'm a life coach, a motivational speaker, an entrepreneur. I have the uh, paparazzi jewelry, um, a television host, and and a new thing that I'll be going back into because I started out in radio, and I just kind of faded out with it a little bit, you know. But God has resurfaced that, so that's something that I'll be entering back into uh, in 2017 with Elations Radio. I thank God Amen. for Jerry uh, and you. Always, Amen. always. Sorry. This may be something that you would like to do, you know. So I thank God for your heart 
of sharing uh, for the most part. But my most important job of all of that is a published author and, and, and all the things that I do. I am a proud mother of, of three children, two are deceased, yet I still have my trinity, who, who's my pride, my joy, and that's where my inspiration comes. And that's why I tell so many women, despite what you've gone through, the things that you have endured, you have to find a reason to live. So there are times when things are not working the way I believe that they should be working, Blossom. Um, I look mm-hmm. at my daughter and I say, Lord, now you you got to do this. If you don't do it for me, do it for Trinity. I put that on him all the time. I said, <laughs> I've, I've been acting up. And, and I, I haven't been doing right. Lord, don't forget about me. Just do it for Trinity. Please, Lord, show her that you are the God that I serve. And I say that because I share with her the things that I'm believing God for. And we pray for those things and we stand in faith so she can see and know as she grows up that God is able, that he will do exceedingly abundantly above all that, you know, we ask or think. So my, my greatest hat that I wear is being a mother. And and she's that, that one that keeps me grounded, the one that humbles me, the one even when I want to check out, you know, and say some things I don't need to say. She's like, no, Mama, you know that ain't no Jesus. You you can't do that. So, uh-huh. so she's like a mini-me in a sense that, that helps me to send uh, and help me to balance it all. As many speaking engagements that I get looking um, you know, as, as she sleeps, I said, well, you know what? I can't fly to Dallas this week because my daughter has this going on at school, or I can't do this because I have to make sure, being a single mom, that I'm present in her life. And and many times as mothers, you have to make those sacrifices. You have to make sure that they know that your presence, you, actually your physical body being there versus the presence, because the gifts and all of that, they're not going to remember that when they become older. They are most definitely going to remember what mom at my recital? Was she at my game? You know, did she come and support me when I was in the spelling bee? All those things that we say, well, you know, I had to work. You make time for the things that we desire. And so when right. I get you... the schedule or I get the emails, mm-hmm. I make sure that I, I put things in order and say, Lord, help me. So to answer that simple question, how do I juggle it? By the grace of God. I pray, Amen. and he shifts things around just for me, and he'll tell me who to talk to, who to ask, you know, what to say. And it just all works out for my good, and he gives me strength to do it all. It's a lot, Amen. but for him, I'll do it all over again. Yes, ma'am. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, if, if if our listeners want to get in touch with you, um, how would they do that, Tammy? Most definitely. Of course, on um, Facebook, you can find me as, I think I am Tammy Tubbs. I think that's simple enough. Uh, The Tammy Tubbs Show is also on Facebook. Um, If you would like to, uh, the entrepreneur side of me, you can go to my website of paparazziaccessories.com backslash 39420. And then just simple, simply Google Tammy Tubbs. Everything there is most definitely will come up, and you will actually see. For my book, I still have joy. Um, the other book, Woman to Woman with a Real You, please stand up. You can go to YouTube and see some of the highlighted shows. Um, and then, you, like I said, you can most definitely call 662-341-5274. It's a ministry line. That's what I call, tell people. Sometimes people don't want to give out their um their cell number because they're so private, but you have to understand there are women that are in need, and you can weed out the foolishness. So sometimes a text message doesn't do. They need to hear your voice. Would you agree, Blossom? Sometimes people need to hear your voice. Amen. That. That's that's so true. That that's true. Mm-hmm. And you know, you you right. You you know, God will tell you who who playing and who not playing because now is not the time to be playing. You know, I tell them, don't, I, when I get my business card out, don't call me with no foolishness because you know that's what. Right. Time, time is just too short. And, and I was like that when I was in the streets. You know, I was I'll always be a hustler. You know, I hustled mm-hmm. when I was out in the streets, but now I hustle for the Lord. And if it's not mm-hmm. gonna help somebody, I don't even want to be part of it because I know me. We'll get caught up in something that we don't have no business doing. So absolutely. Um, what 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 encouraging word could you tell our listener right right now? Because oh, everything goodness. you've been saying. Listen, now, let me get this. Let me wow. straighten this out. Everything you've been saying has been hitting home, touching base, and I almost about ran around in my room in here. So my God, I thank I God you. that I'm it's being able to hit home, you know, because mm-hmm. we don't want to never say, "Oh, that's not for me." That that that's not yeah. for me. Yeah. I thank 
God is hitting home. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to be convicted sometime to get back on track. I'm not perfect, but I serve a perfect God. I let everybody know that. But what could yeah. you tell our listeners right now? You know, I think for the most part, if I can just be honest, would just hit me really quickly, and this is not something that I meditated on, is don't be deceived. In this season, don't be deceived to think, because, you know, you're on social media, and it looks like everybody is happy, everybody's in love, and uh, it's like everything so cool. is going perfect for everyone. Baby. And the enemy will tell you that, you know what, well, your life is nothing, you're doing nothing, you ought to take your – don't be deceived. During the holiday time, that's when the enemy comes in to steal, kill, and to destroy your peace, and depression is on a, you know, a high rise, suicide, people are taking their lives. If you just Google it, you'll see – Statistically, around the holiday time, people are being deceived, you know, because they believe that their lives are not worth living because they see so many people getting engaged, falling in love, getting married. They're writing books. They're graduating. But you don't know the struggle, how many years it took that woman to graduate, you know, four or right. five years, or somebody gets married. You don't know how many times she was in a domestic abuse relationship where she was getting beat up or she was in and out of jail. So don't be deceived. Do not let the enemy come in and rob and take your peace. Make sure that you are staying in the presence of the Lord. Make sure that you're reading your word. Make sure that you are praying to God. When you get in your car, turn the radio off. And just say, Lord, speak to my heart. Show me, lead me, direct me, guide me, because I don't know about anybody else. I'm at the point in my life, I'm tired of playing church. I want something that's real, that's life-changing. I want when I walk into the presence of of a ministry that my life is changed, that I have a rhema word that's going to change my life, and I can be a help to someone else. So don't be deceived not thinking that everybody is moving faster than you. For such a time as this, at the right appointed time, God will open the right door. He'll send the right man, the right ministry. But you have to be obedient. Amen? You have to be obedient in what he has already instructed you to do. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right because the enemy will have you to start playing games in your mind, comparing yourself to this ministry, that ministry. Now, how she get that job? I apply yeah. for it too. She's not well. How she end up getting this? And how? Don't be deceived. Do not be deceived. Get in the Word and allow the Lord to minister to your heart. Believe me. When it's your time, that's nothing that nobody can say or do because when God wants to elevate you, he will make even your hater bless you. You better say And it's just amazing something. how you have to understand that people can lie, talk about you, but when it's your time, those same people will be the yeah. people that God will intentionally send. Haven't you experienced this before? Intentionally. Yeah. In your way to give you a hug, girl, you bless me. Oh, I didn't know you went through all of this. I'm so yes. sorry. And, and <laughs> as they're doing all of this, the Holy Spirit is revealing to you that she Jesus. was talking about you. She was lying yeah. on you. She was trying to figure out how she gets it. I remember when she was in the club with me. I remember when yeah. she would be smoking and doping with me. I remember when we yeah. were running the streets together. But the difference is you surrendered. You yield your life to Christ. And so when you you submit and you begin to say, Lord, use me for your glory, that's when God opens doors. So I don't try to figure out how God's going to do it. I just look for when he's going to do it because I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to do it because his promises are yea and amen. The problem is we're not talking to him. We're not talking to him. We're so busy as women, Blossom, doing everything that we think is a God thing, and it's not. It's a good thing because we're comparing ourselves to somebody else. So if you do a program, I'm going to try to do a program. (laughs) Come on. Come on. You know, if Blossom get on the radio, I'm going to try to get on the radio. And then you don't understand why it doesn't work because it wasn't meant for you. Come on. Come on. Can nobody do Blossom like Blossom? I'm not the one to gossip. But can nobody do (laughs) Blossom like Blossom? Hello, good <laughs> girl. I try to told them. I be trying to told them. And when you can be true to yourself, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Don't when be you can deceived. be true to yourself, yeah, you can be true to anybody else. You know, I, I that's why I love. Like I said, when God bless me was on your your couch, girl, I was able to sit there and laugh and just talk and just be blossom. You know what? Yeah. Um, you know, God, God just opened that door. We had a good time up there. Yes, we did. We, 
we were menacing, but we still had a good time because it was girlfriend to girlfriend just being who we are, loving on one another, supporting one another. And people miss out on that when you don't be genuine with it. Like I said, Absolutely. you and I, we don't talk every day. But when we do talk, it's like we just talked yesterday. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's because when you know it's genuine. a divine connection. Absolutely. Right. That's when you know right. I don't have to call you. And, or, you know, and, and I think that's some of the things that women need to understand. And, and I'm not promoting my book, but I think it's a great resource, A Woman to Woman with a Real You Please Stand Up, Principles of Learning Yourself. That's when you understand that your environment, the women that you surround yourself with, is so vital because you pick up their attitude, their mood, their thought patterns. You pick up everything. And if it's not success or prosperity or if it's not walking in the favor of God, positivity, you most definitely will begin to transition and act just like these crazy women. Why you didn't call me? I guess you yeah. don't like me no more. You too busy. You too big now. Oh, you think you done made it. And see, when all of that foolishness comes in, Tammy Tubbs thinks this miss, I don't have time for that. Because if you don't understand that I'm on a mission for God and, and you can't understand my life, then I need you to move on. God bless you. And I'm praying that God send you some people in your life that can help you. <laughs> and you know what? I, I'm telling you, I'm I'm learning that bit by bit by bit. I'm not saying I'm perfect yes. like that. But you know what, when you're trying to do something for God and when they and you got people telling you, oh, girl, I wouldn't do that. What if I would the six years ago Listen when the Lord them. was telling me to write the book? You know yes. what? What if I'd have said no? Now, I'm not going to say I was scared because, yeah, you know, you you putting your business out there. You don't want people talking about you. But mm -hmm. I didn't realize that when they brought they talked about you when you was out there. So they're going to talk about Absolutely. you regardless. Absolutely. Um, um, and like I said, just going back to, and I tell everybody, just going back to, sitting on that couch and just something about that couch and bouncing and just laughing and talking. It, when I tell my story, it's like a, a high for me. I don't know if people can understand that, but it's just a high, just knowing let's, where let's God Let's say it brought. this way. It's a spiritual high. You get, because you know, you, you, you know what it feels like to be high, but it's nothing like a Holy Ghost high. Because you just want to talk and tell of his goodness, and you can go on and on. Because when um, I said, I think it was at the end of the show, I said, guess what, Blossom, our time is up. And you was like, wait a minute. I, is over already? <laughs> I said, but you'll most definitely be back. Will you be again so, on another show? Because when you, that high that you get, you can't. You, you can't come down because you know what he's done for you, how he kept Amen. you, how he made a way. And if it wasn't for him, you know without a doubt that you most definitely would have not been able to come on the Tammy Tubbs show and say and hear your testimony. <laughs> I mean, you know what, I tell everybody the testimony about when I did come back, you know, how we were sitting there laughing and talking and things, <laughs> and how the producer came out and said, yeah. Blossom, when you read it, we got a show for you. I stopped breathing because I couldn't believe it. I said, now nobody heard me say that, but God, because mm -hmm. I wasn't mm -hmm. able to say it to you. That's what I'm saying. God is just so good. He, but you he know just, what is so, he's so remarkable about that, Blossom? And mm -hmm. I don't think I ever shared this with you. And I think your audience needs to hear this, and you can have it recorded so that you can hear it. If I'm dead and gone, you can always remember this. God knows our heart. And the Amen. same place that you were sitting, uh, I think it was about two years ago, before yes. I came to them, I was mm -hmm. sitting on the opposite side being interviewed by Nikki Addison. It was her wow. show. And I was sharing wow. my testimony about surviving the children, you know, from death, depression, and, and all of this, these things that were going on in my life. The identical same thing happened. So it was like a transference. And I love Amen. that. So I just Amen. thank God that we both were able to be availing to God so that God could use us in different capacities because I had to say yes to the to the call. You had to say yes because the enemy could have easily told you, no, I don't do that because you may offend him. The devil is a lie. <laughs> what God has for you is for you. And, and I thank God you that you took me. that leap of faith. I don't remember. What did I say? Because I talk all the time. You told me, you said, you said, I love you and stay humble. And I said, and you gave me that mama yes. look. You looked me yes. eyeball to eyeball. And you yeah. had your hair so pretty, but you swooped it to the sides. Like a see <laughs> both eyeballs. <laughs> and you pointed your finger and you said, stay humble. And I would yes. never forget that. As long as I live, because Tammy, yes. the joy and the love that you showed me from me coming, from smoking you, crack Jesus. cocaine, as long as I live, I'll tell everybody I'll never forget you because 
like with Naomi and Ruth, you was tra- yes, you, you tucked me up under your wing, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not uh, putting you on no pillars or nothing, but I'm just letting you know I love you because you, Jesus. you're genuine. And people, yet, yet you have that Southern Belle uh, statue about yourself, but they just don't know you got a heart of gold. Yes. You just, you, you'll talk to anybody. You know, a lot of people think when you have a TV show and all that, that you get so high. Mind. No, that's not true. That, that, you, no. I'm, I'm still, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm still blossom. I Humble. still like to have a good time. Mm-hmm. You got that's what you told me that day, and, I, and I'll never forget as long as I live. Stay humble. I remember that. I remember that. Yes, Lord. That. But I, That's but the best advice say, that I could ever give. I, baby, no, it was the way that you swoop your hair to the side to give me that look. You understand what I'm saying? To remember, wow. Blossom, stay humble. Don't get cocky because it, 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 you'll, be, you'll be snatched down. And like yes, I said, I'll... I, I just want so much out of life. I, my dream is to travel the world to tell my story. And God gave me the opportunity sitting in Tupelo, Mississippi, on your couch. Amen. You know, that was an Oprah. That was an Oprah uh, couch right there. You know what I'm saying? At that Jesus. moment. So I, I I give God all the glory, man. And I ask God to just show you favor, a fresh anointing from the head to the soles of your feet. You, and may He show you favor in everything you do and say. And one thing about you, Tammy, you know, you, you everything you touch turns into gold. But one thing, you don't touch everything. If it's Amen. not meant to be, you don't touch it. And I watch you when you do stuff and how you move and everything. Everything is not supposed to be touched. You know what I'm saying? So Amen. I, I thank God for, for for you. But with our listeners who are ever just tuned in, uh, we have Miss Tammy Tubbs here on the on the show today uh, from Under a Bridge uh, radio talk show. I, I, God is just good. But like I said, Tammy, one more time, could you give your um, information out for any of our listeners and anyone who um, didn't get a chance to hear, we're going to post it on my page, uh, Blossom Rogers, so that way you can hear this powerful story. But Tammy, if Absolutely. you could just um, give them your uh, information one more time. Absolutely, absolutely. If you're on Facebook, it's Tammy Tubbs. You can um, most definitely Google Tammy Tubbs, and you'll see that my book, Woman to Woman, with the rear you, please stand up. Also, the other, I Still Have Joy. You can visit YouTube, the Tammy Tubbs Show. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can also uh, visit the Tammy Tubbs Show. TammyTubbs.org is under construction for some new, wonderful, phenomenal things that are taking place in 2017. So that's kind of like a sneak peek. But um, if you Google us, some things will actually come up. But one thing that I do want to say, Blossom, that God has done um, with one of my sisters, her name is Tiffany Miller Harris, and I love her so very much. She's a Mississippi girl, and I hadn't probably spoken to her or seen her. Uh, since 1994 when both of us graduated. But I'm saying this to say how God will cause people to remember you. She lives in Dallas, Texas now. And she contacted me the early part of this year, 2016. And when we talked, it was as if we just picked up from where we left off. And she said, God instructed me to, uh, she didn't ask me, she said, God instructed me to tell you that we need to join forces. And I said, amen, you know, and and my heart was receptive. She had a ministry that's called Glam Girls of Grace and Faith. And so, um, and it's just women on a mission sharing our testimony because all of us have something that we need to share to pull somebody somebody up from the roots of hell, from the bondage, from the stronghold, the strong ties that they're in. But the enemy will tell you to close your mouth. And so I'm grateful to be connected to her. But I'm saying all of this to say that on January 28th, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area, you can visit them. Or if you're in the Mississippi Southern um, Arena, you can visit us. It's January 28th, 2017. We're having Goodies and Girl Talk, and it's presented by the Glam Girls of Faith, um, and the Tammy Tubbs Show, and our topic that we're going to be talking about is emotional pain and addiction. Everybody has endured some kind of emotional pain and an addiction, whether you want to admit it or not. You've been broken from something, whether Amen. it's crack, health, you know, a disorder, um, eating, porn, sex, relationships, alcohol, say, drugs. Say it so, say it so. All, yes, we all have something, but nobody wants to talk about it, but you know. I thank God yeah, that yeah. you put this on my sister's heart. And so we're hosting it in Mississippi, January 28th from 12 to 3 at um, the Travis Outlaw Center. 
and Star Blue is also our sportsplex, and then they're hosting it um, there in the Dallas Fort Worth area at Bethel Family Worship Center. And I'm just excited because we are going to start the year off right in 2017, being free from bondage and knowing who we are in Jesus Christ. And and another thing, how you just shared, if it's not God, I'm not going to touch it. And I and I told Amen. you earlier that I said, God, if um, it's not you, I'm not being involved in it because people are doing good things. They're just not God things. And they're good things that they're doing is because they're trying to compete with someone else. So, again, I'll say don't be deceived. Whatever God tells you to do, stay in your lane and do it. When it's your time, when it's your turn, he will bring you from the backside, just like he did Joseph at the appointed Mm -hmm. time. He will call someone to remember you. He will call someone to favor you. You just have to make sure that you're walking in obedience, reading your word, and doing the simple things that God tells us to do, to forgive that person, to love that person, you know, to buy that person a small token of a gift or a card, little things that we're saying, I don't want to do that. Well, he's just testing you to see if you're going to be obedient before he bless you with the major breakthrough. So, again, if I could just say anything on today, my sisters and those that are listening, be encouraged. Sometimes, and you know this, Blossom, we have to encourage ourselves because people will talk about us, scandalize our names because they don't understand the mission that God has given us. But we're on assignment. And we're ready to give the enemy a headache and let him know that if he didn't take us out then, he was definitely not going to stop us now. We're unstoppable, and we walk in the favor of God. Amen. I I, I want to say thank you so much. I want to thank all our listeners for joining us another blessed Sunday afternoon here on the From Under a Bridge radio talk show with your host, Blossom. Uh, God is just so good when you could just sit down and and, and I Tammy and I talked about the fried chicken and, mac- and macaroni and cheese sheet and an egg, yes, but we broke. <laughs> we we had a spiritual uh, meal and I and I thank God for you. Um, and like I said, I want to thank my listeners for joining in one more time. And Tammy, if you could lead us out in prayer, and I want to thank everybody for joining from Under a Bridge. This is your host, Blossom. Absolutely. Before I end in prayer, I I forgot to mention that if you're in the Birmingham, Gaston, Alabama area, also join me on 5 p.m. Join our time with TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network. God has favored me to be one of the hosts for Join Our Town, and that's WTJPTV26. So, again, whatever God has for you, he's going to make sure that he does it. Father God, we just thank you right now. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory, God. Father, I thank you for supernatural favor that's taking place over the listeners, God. I thank you for the host, Blossom Rogers. Take her higher, God. Elevate her, Lord God. Give her her heart desire. We just speak the blood of Jesus over her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord God. Father, we thank you right now that this week is going to be a week of victory, that this is going to be a supernatural week of abundant blessings, Lord God. Father, we just thank you right now that no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper that you have a hedge of protection around us. But God, right now, we just want to stop and say thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who died, who blessed for us so that we could be saved, set free, and delivered. So right now, God, I just touch and agree with every listener, even with the host, Blossom Rogers, my sister, Lord God, that God, you're about to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. And we decree and declare on today that whatever you tell us to do, that we're going to do it. We're going to walk in faith. Because we know that you are the God that you say you are. You are everything that we need, and you are an on-time God. So, God, we love you, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen, 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 and amen. amen. Love you, love you. God bless you. Thank you so very much, Love you too, baby. God be the glory. Once again, we want to thank you for joining us on From Under a Bridge radio talk show. Your host, Blossom. Yeah, K Web. We got the messenger. School. God Squad. What up, Grace? Yeah. Hey, check this out. Yeah. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God Squad. Yes, I got favor. God Squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Forget a hater. Who squad? Cause I got favor. God squad. Hey, I got favor. 
live the life of sin. I thank God that I'm alive. Guns drawn at me at 16, I didn't die. People thought I'd be in jail cause I used to steal. But I never been to jail, I'ma keep it real. Yes, Lord. Jesus turned my life around and he let me know. Let me know. If you keep sinning, man, in hell is where you finna go. go. Then he gave me a wife and a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of blessings, now I'm stunting on the enemy. Son. I live for Christ, I ain't perfect, I ain't hurting. Tell the devil I'm with Jesus, cause I know me out here searching. Man, I'm working on the beat. For the Lord, you know I'm wildin'. And as long as Jesus with me, I'ma always keep on smiling. Hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. Hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. Forget a hater, forget a hater. Cause I got favor, cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad. Forget a hater, who? Storm, search for my spirit, y'all. Pushed by the wrongs, persuaded by material. Sunday it was church, Monday back to thugging. Tuesday on the block, Wednesday I was lusting. Thursday chased girls, Friday played how. Thirty I was sipping, your boy was wildin' now. He's bringing out the best now, I'm poking out my chest now. Something about his name, no lie, feeling fresh now. The spiritual weight. Got me strong in the word. I'm drunk in the gospel. The reason I swear, my picture was blurry, so my father repainted. My soul was dirty, tossed it up and replaced. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got. Favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God, yes, I got favor. God, yeah. oh, get a hater. Nah. Who You ain't gotta put no logic to no, it. Uh, you ain't gotta put no science uh, to it or no bastard to uh, it. Uh, In the natural, when the spirit moving, I love my God. Got me walking straight with my head high, and I ain't never been no stunt guy. Got two kids and a blessed wife. God cooks his favorite punch, and I'm all in. Got room, wanna serve a bunch. Don't walk off, filled up. Never knew it was there. Now you stand up with your hands up. That's when that hand touch and the glory of God drop in about the flood up. Everybody put a praise up, cause I'ma do it within. You got a heartbeat, stand up. Love. This world can't tame us when we know the deal. You stressing, sitting, guessing if the love is real. My faith ain't determined by my shining will. God is all I know, I know what that's serious. Hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. forget a hater, forget a hater, cause I got favor, cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, 